Hello, my name is Spike Abernethy and I'm standing here today uh, in front of the family homestead uh, referred to as Evergreen Hill. And I stand here as the seventh generation of my family to uh, continuously live here since my great, great, great grandfather, Peter Ruppel, received the original land grant from President Andrew Jackson in 1831. Peter and his wife lived in a cabin just to the south of here. And then his son, Franklin Ruppel, is the one who built this home in Italianate uh, uh, home in 1873. And the reason that they named this property Evergreen Hill is because we uh, are on 38 acres here. And if you look uh, north uh, down the hill slightly to Chippewa Avenue and south to Ireland, we are at a peak of a hill of which 25 acres is across the road uh, that is all wooded, many uh, hardwoods, uh, and 13 acres uh, where the home and outbuildings are located, going back to Linden Road. My wife and I put this on the National Register of Historic Homes in 2001 after we did the addition, having hired a historical architect, not, so not to deter from the uh, similar architecture as we have uh, in the original house. Let's come inside and see some of the features that this historical home has to offer. This is the entry uh, hall of the house. And uh, the thing that I'd like to point out to you is the uh, craftsmanship. Uh, remember back in 1873 that they were able to craft the uh, stairway, which has not been touched, and the curved walls and the curved uh, stair rail uh, all the way up to the second floor that has the, uh, our three bedrooms and two baths and a den upstairs. We are now in the, uh, what we refer to as the formal parlor. We have maintained the furniture and many of these are from my grandmother and all of the windows have the original shutters that are on all of the windows here in this part of the house. The only thing that we have done is take the old wallpaper off, put on new wallpaper, and have painted it. But everything else is uh, maintained exactly as it was back in 1873. This is our dining room that our family used to gather every Thanksgiving and Christmas. We have continued this table, walnut table, comes from the uh, 1880s and has sat in this same home uh, ever since. It expands out to seat 12 very comfortably, as well as we have the uh, various cabinets here that uh, my grandmother's uh, china from her wedding. There's a service of 24. And we again have the shutters uh, on the windows as we uh, have on the other parts of the house. From the dining room, uh, I'm going to walk you into the living room. It was more of an informal area this is where the kids uh, used to play while the adults were visiting uh, with their friends in more of the formal parlor. So this uh, room uh, has the uh, copy of the original land grant that was given uh, to my great-great-great-grandfather by President Andrew Jackson in 1831. It also has a copy of the uh, National Register of Historic Places on the wall has a map uh, that my great-grandfather used when he taught school, and it shows the map of the U.S. back in uh, 1862. I am now sitting in uh, the sunroom, which is right off the living room. This was the only addition that my family has made uh, to the original house, and my great-grandmother put this addition on in 1920. Uh, she wanted a room where she could sit out in the spring and summer and fall to see the gardens outside and uh, to, uh, again, have an informal area where friends could come over and sit in a wonderful environment. Welcome to the renovated portion of our historic home. And we renovated this in the year 2000. The old house actually had their wall right here. Uh, so the kitchen is behind me, and all we did is 
completely redid the kitchen. My wife also found the tin ceiling in the antique store and we had that cut and painted uh, for the kitchen. And the cabinetry in the pantry are from the old cabinets that used to be in the original kitchen. So we wanted to keep as much as we possibly could from the original house uh, intact. The flooring, uh, as you see in here, we have done, uh, we took 11 cherry trees from our property across the road and had that, uh, the cherry trees cut and uh, milled into a tongue and groove and installed. We added a breakfast room, a family room with a masonry fireplace, along with the master bedroom and bathroom and one additional bathroom. We have a uh, finished room in the basement as well as storage room and we also have a central heating and air unit exclusively for the new renovated uh, area of the home. We are now standing at the back edge of our home and in an attempt to preserve as much as we could from the original house, we did uh, move the, the bell that my, I recall my grandmother ringing and, and her parents that when you ring this bell, uh, you could hear it all over the entire 38 acres. And the bell, when it was rung, meant it's time to come in for lunch. And it was a great sound for all of us to hear as my grandmother was a great cook. Uh, beyond my uh, shoulder uh, is the uh, lighting house, which used to ho hold the generator since in 1873, they did not have electricity. And uh, beyond that is the smokehouse that uh, they originally used to smoke their meats. We've cut in paths all the way through this property the, actually, the paths uh, are named after each of my, grand, my five grandsons who each planted a little sign. So we are now on uh, Riley's Road, so, uh, which is the road down to the, from the house to the cemetery. And back in 1831, when Peter Ruppel and his wife came from Pennsylvania to be the original founders of this property, uh, Peter died in the uh, year 1839. And so they buried uh, Peter out, uh, it would just be to the west of where their original cabin was. Uh, after that generation, uh, we have gone to more of the traditional cemeteries for our, our other relatives. Thank you for joining me today and allowing me to give you a tour of Evergreen Hill, a home that's been in my family. Uh, since 1831 and being able to show you both the the original uh, part of the home built in 1873 as well as the renovated uh, addition what we put on in year 2000. The barn and the outbuildings and uh, the grounds I hope you have enjoyed as well and uh, I appreciate your taking the time.